Good morning or good afternoon. Uh, if you are finding me for the first time, my name is Penny. I'm Madam Penny. Call me Madam Penny. That's a, a good way to address a teacher. I come here five to six days a week. I give my time. I bring you into my, my personal space for free because I want us to learn together. And it is something that uh, God has given me the strength and the courage to be faithfully doing. I've been talking on Facebook since 20, I believe it's 2020 actively. I opened this page in 20, 20, April of 2020 and God has been good. And I know a lot of lives have been changed and we've learned from each other. And I have personally gained a lot of friendships and I have personally gained a, a lot of lessons for my business and I am grateful. So if you're finding me for the first time, please share this video. So sharing is caring. If you've not liked my page on YouTube, uh, I mean subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do that. I'll appreciate that. And this is the book we've been doing. We are almost done with this book. I mean, we've been dragging because I got sick for some time. And uh, the book title is called, This is What uh, Matters, What is Important. We are creating awareness, all right? It's written by a, a woman called Dr. Papetua Neo. She's a psychologist. You know, a psychologist is someone who has studied the human, the human behavior or the human mind, and she understands, you know, what we need to do so we can live a good quality of life. My goal is for you guys to listen in. My, my prayer is that you can learn and, and pick something by the time I'm done so that way you can improve your quality of life. A lot of you that watch me from different countries might not be blessed to have such opportunities to, to buy these books. And sometimes, but you have free Wi-Fi somewhere so you can listen to me. So that is why I'm so dedicated. And I know there's a lot of people who are taking notes. There's a lot of people who are following through. So today we want to talk about a very, very important discussion that has changed the world, that has affected so many people. We are going to talk about using technology to connect. Some of us came into technology when we were older. I, I believe I came, I opened uh, Facebook, uh, let me see the age, how old I was, uh, 20, I opened Facebook page in 2009 and I'm born 1973. So I came onto Facebook at 35 years old. So I was old enough. I already uh, had my three children and uh, I was already married for quite some time. I came into Facebook or, or rather social media as an adult. And what happened in 2012, I resigned from my full time job and I decided to start a business because I had a child and that's child number four. And I wasn't able to really be there for my four children. My husband worked in New York. He was gone by, by 7 in the morning and he didn't come home until 7.30. So I was a single married, right? You know those ones where you're, you're married but your husband is gone for the most part. So I left my job and I started my own business. But I started my business uh, mainly online before I went into now where I have a shop or where I go every Saturday to sell the beads. I, I made a lot of money in the first few years when I started. This was um, in 20... Um, uh, oh, who is this? Sorry, hello? Hello? Okay. Okay. Um, and, and that's how I, I came into social media. I came into social media to start my business and I came into social media to share photos. A friend of mine, Patricia Moturi, is the one that actually made me to open that Facebook page that particular day. We were in a friend's house, uh, um, Kushi's house, and she took a picture of me and I wanted the photo. I'm always like sending my photos. She, she told me, no, go on Facebook and it's there. I said, go on Facebook, it's there. She's like, yeah, go there. That's where all the pictures that I took that day. And that's how I created a Facebook account that particular day. And I came into Facebook. And when I, call, I came on into Facebook, I saw opportunities. And believe me when I tell you, my life has been changed, transformed. I don't know. 
where I could be without Facebook. I'm telling you the truth. My life was changed upside down because of social media, which is Facebook primarily. Uh, in 2019, Facebook took us to San Francisco and they gave us a training on how to utilize our social media. That was 2019. And they told us that they were going to create opportunities for us to make money from what we were doing. But remember, some of us came into Facebook for fun. Some of us came into Facebook to share photos. But after we left that conference, they told us, go create pages. You're going to earn from those pages. And I want you to know, I've told you guys this before. In, from 2020 up to even now, you could make up to $34,000 a month through your Facebook page. 34 from your content. Clean cash, it comes into your bank account. Unless you see that bank account, you will not believe that people are making $34,000 a month. Right now, they are making $30,000 a month. They changed that. Right now, others are making $50,000 a month. Uh, there's commercials. There's advertisements. There's, there's all kinds of things that we earn from, from this page. So when you come to social media, when you're browsing, I want you to know that you're putting money in somebody's pocket. And that's why today's discussion is very, very important. And pay attention. You need to reflect and ask yourself, how are you using social media? Regardless of your age, okay? Sharing recommendations and thoughts on, on stories on Facebook and Instagram and exchanging opinions can be a life-changing experience. Posting and uh, sharing and engaging in your day-to-day -day activities can add value to your life. Technology can be a glue, okay? For people to feel a part of a bigger community. Some of you have created a Facebook or, or Instagram or TikTok community that you actually think you know me and you've never met me until we come to meet each other. So the, the social media or technology, once you get on that platform, you can feel like you, are, you, you belong somewhere and you can become a glue where you know pen is coming at 11.30. Let me jump on. But often that time spent on, on taking photos, posting those photos is real time. Okay? And it means it takes away from you because now you have to take the photos, post them, and you know respond to people's comments. That is actual time that is being taken away from you, maybe from your family, maybe from your place of work. I don't know where you post from. You need to be aware that any time you spend on social media, it's time that is taken away from you, from posting, from uh, commenting, from responding. That is time taken away from you, so be mindful. My On my page, I have a timer for Facebook for two hours a day. And that includes reading, that includes posting, that includes engaging. That's why I don't engage comments a lot because I don't have that time to respond to everybody because it's time consuming. But Facebook has put that feature, TikTok, all these uh, platforms, Instagram, where they can control, you can help yourself to control how much time you're spending on that platform. There are many reasons why technology is important for us to connect as a community. Maybe where you are right now, you are somewhere where you are by yourself. Let's say you are in Ukraine or you are in Uruguay or you are in Kenya or you are in Mombasa. You are somewhere and you want to connect with your fellow Kenyans. You can actually go on social media and ask, I'm here in West Hampton. Are there any Kenyans here? So technology or social media can help you to get connected to the community wherever you are connecting digitally may be a may be a may be part of your work as work as connecting digitally may be part of your work and with time is going to be the norm that is how people are going to connect so why is using technology to plug in important to you why is using technology important to you? What are the ways in which digital connections may harm you or your community? It is important to consider the possible cons of digital tools, like feeling more isolated by only posting without actually connecting to others so you can prevent and fix these issues. 
what are the different what are the different specific ways in which you use technology to interact with your community okay there are three main types of online communities all right we have the discussion uh, interest groups where you've joined a cooking group where you've joined a cleaning group where you've joined a, a book club these are groups where you discuss things things that interest you so you join those groups like I saw a lady that has created a group for first wives to go meet in Kenya. She in 2024 they are having a conference for all first wives and she created a group and posted the group. So if you want to uh, participate in that event, she has put the amount and she has set the date. August August 2nd of 2025, 2024. So if you are first wife and you want to attend that event, you have to go in there and join the group and be a part of that group. Okay? There is a second one is the support groups. You you recently lost your job, so you're in a group where people are posting job. You recently lost your mom. You want a support group of people who've lost their mothers. You recently became a mom, so you're in a support group for mothers. You recently lost your child, you know, where people have lost their children. You recently became a mom. You don't know how to breastfeed. So you join a, a support group for breastfeeding. So there are those support groups, support groups that help you go through a crisis. You recently got divorced. There are so many groups for divorced men, divorced women. So you can support each other because you've walked through that journey. The other one is action groups. Okay. What are action groups? Where you guys do things, right? You go hiking, you go skating, you are, you are doing something, right? You are joining that group because you are doing some kind of a, a, on a activity. So there's discussions, there's support group, and there's action groups. Okay? So the next question, remember I forgot to tell you, all my students, you always have to have a pen. The, the, the next question they are asking you, what can you contribute to those groups? What can you contribute to your support group? What can you contribute to your action group? Because you know what? You belong to one group. Which group do you belong to? What are you going to contribute? Ask yourself what are you giving besides taking. And then we go to where they are talking to understand why this matters. Do you understand why this matters? More and more technology is vital a part of our lives. Many people have made it normal for them to do business or for them to communicate through the advanced uh, technology. And while some warn, are warned about it being harm, harmful, it's ultimately a tool that is useful or destructive as you make it. So it is technology can be as useful as you make it or as destructive as you make it. So it is up to you. Part of what makes you a product, part of what makes you a product of advanced human evolution is the ability to use tools that are available either to add value or remove your value. It is up to you to decide how you want to use technology. Connecting with what matters, okay? Here is what I've learned from this exercise so far, what we have been talking about. What have you learned about building a community using the social media platforms or using technology that easily and readily available for us, Okay. This is how I feel about doing ex this exercise. How are you feeling about this exercise where you're thinking or creating awareness how you're using technology? How are you using technology to, to destroy yourself or to construct yourself? And what are you giving back in that community that you have chosen? Taking action. How are we going to take action? We, we talk about these things, but we have to take action. Identify how you can connect thoughtfully to using the technology. One thing, oh no, what is one thing you can do to use technology to connect with others, okay, and to impact your community? Number two, connect with people to ensure effective and use, good use of technology. When you're going to connect with people, make sure you're using it to add value. When it takes away your value, create awareness. That's what they are trying to tell you. Don't just go there blindly. Okay? Here, here are some of the, the, the highlights that you have, they have given you how to ensure you are using technology effectively. Okay? 
question you need to ask yourself how the digital tools serve everyone ask yourself you how is technology or the, the digital digital tools that you've been given how are they serving you where maintaining digital connections get a bit tricky and why where do you find technology uh, and uh, maybe connecting on social media where does it get tricky and why do you think is so how encountering challenges with the technology make you feel when you encounter technology challenges it, 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 in fact like me i have a lot of challenges sometimes there are things i need to do even like trying to connect my business page to tiktok connecting my business page to to facebook i always have to get someone to help me it is something that i've been really struggling with but i'm telling myself that i might I must do this because this is the way things are going right now i suggest you talk how you use your digital tools to connect do you think you need any adjustment so far how you're using your digital tools okay ask them or ask yourself what do you think on how you're using technology right invite a conversation where you're going to create an awareness like create an awareness within yourself and know how you're going to use the technology and the platforms that we have been given for free to benefit yourself and everyone thank whenever you are engaging make sure you are engaging in a topic that is growing you when you engage in a topic that doesn't grow you you're losing the time you're you're wasting on your phone bill you're losing the time on the electric electric electricity bill you're losing that you're losing friends you could have connected because you did not engage positively okay finally follow up individually with people you re resonate with okay so you can cultivate deeper and personal and collective ties that are going to add value to your life now i want to talk today about my friend becky right my friend becky uh, i met her online through her african print dresses she was wearing beautiful dresses and i decided to slide to her inbox I didn't slide into her inbox and be like he he ha ha no i went straight into her inbox i'm like where do you get your clothes right and then the second time again after she told me the price i i took off because the the price she gave me was not was not uh, uh within budget with someone who had i think i believe i had four kids already and she told me the dresses were going for like 80 90 dollars i said no this is not my level so I, I I left. I never spoke to her again. And then in uh, 2018 again, I uh, I wanted to. I went online and I said I need to go to Zanzibar. Who can connect me? Whoever has been to, to Zanzibar, stop, stop. And Becky and I connected again. So Becky helped me to plan my trip to Zanzibar. Uh, with my husband we went to kenya and flew to zanzibar and everything was done for us in fact she planned the whole trip it was amazing we went to zanzibar the only sad part about that trip when i went to zanzibar the hotel that we stayed she, it's a hotel that she goes there all the time everybody thought that knew her thought that i met her so i i that secret really bothered me while i was there they they, they gave us first class treatment we got free passes we were treated so nice in Zanzibar. And and those of, of my friends who still watch me from Zanzibar, thank you so much. Courtesy of Becky. So anyway, fast forward, we've remained friends. Becky became my friend. We, we met. And my daughter, one time, my daughter did not want to live here. My daughter left here and went and lived with Becky when she could not tolerate me anymore. She's like, Mom, I need to go. I said, go. Aunt Becky is there for you. My daughter went and lived with Becky for some time. She's back here again. So the other day, she, she sent me this book, and, and I'm giving you, I wanted to finish with that, I'm giving you of a connection that I met on Facebook that has truly, truly changed my life. Not only this, Becky, Becky, Becky is the type that, this morning she saw my son's socks, and she said the socks has a hole, so she's going to send socks. I don't know why this child picked that socks that has a hole, and they put it on Instagram. 
she slid into my inbox and we laughed. I'm like, well, that boy chooses to wear those socks. Anyway, she sent me pants. So she sent me this book a few days ago. Becky, I hope you're going to watch this. And I really like this book. And this book is, is talking about mastering courage to be disliked. And this book, so far I'm like on chapter one. I, I've learned something that I already knew, but I learned something that I can tell you. We feel, I, I can feel people don't like me, right? And there are other people who are feeling, I don't like them. We grow up feeling, some of us, that our parents don't like us. Some of you know that, oh, my mom doesn't like me. Some of you know, oh, my dad doesn't like me. Some of you know, like, your ex-husband does not like you. Your ex-wife does not like you. Some of you know that such and such a friend doesn't like you. But I'm telling you from this book, this is an online friend Becky sent me. The book is telling you, you are rejected and you reject people. But we tend to focus on when we are rejected. But we never remember that we also reject other people. Now, in this book again, this is a new book. It was written in 2023. It's a new book. This guy is talking about shooting. The shootings, these people who just go and kill random people. When they did a study and, and found what a lot of them had in common, they are finding out that they felt rejected. They did not have a belonging. And Becky, as I'm reading this book, I want to tell you, you know when you read a book, there is the intended reason you're reading a book. And there is even, sometimes you read a book one time, if you wait next year, you read a book again, that book ministers to you in a different way. Because you change, you grow. If I give my 19-year-old now to read this book, he's, going, he's probably going to... to to think about being disliked, maybe nobody's liking your, your videos, maybe nobody's commenting on your post, something, because he's using the brain of a 19-year-old. But I'm using now this, I'm using a 50-year-old mind to read this. If I read this book when I'm 51, I'm going to think in a different way. So they say most of these people who harm people, and I want you to know, including anybody that you see on social media, bullying, People, if you see a bully on social media, I want you to know that person at one time was rejected by somebody and they never healed from that rejection. So they have that thing inside them. They feel the need to, 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 to just hurt somebody too. Because the world has rejected you. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to harm someone. You know what? I'm done. Because if you love yourself, because we are talking about self-care and self-love. If you love yourself enough, there are things you won't do to people. Because you are thinking, would you like anybody to do that? You know you wouldn't. But through this social media connection, I've had a chance to get this book from my friend Becky. To even reflect, I stopped the book I was reading. Where is the other book? I was reading a different book. I put it down. Just to even see what is this disliking talking about. Because sometimes it's not even so much your friends that dislike you. Sometimes it's even uh, uh, your, your mom, your dad, your husband, your children, they reject you. And then you don't know where to turn to. Then you're like, you know what? You give up. But they are telling you if you love yourself enough, you will give positive energy out there. And when we come on social media, let us not take it lightly because this is a life-changing platform. This is where you're going to meet people that you have things that you share in common. They told you in this chapter, they are telling you you can fall in any of these groups. You can do a, a group that they crochet, a group that creates that you're interested in crocheting or you're interested in playing board games or where you can have discussions or investments. They are saying you can have support group. You're, you're going through something. They are saying you can have action groups where you're traveling. We have traveling PC groups. So, invest. When you slide into somebody's inbox, if you slide into my inbox, you need to be specific and clear why you're sliding into my inbox. What are you looking for from me? If I slide into your inbox, 
I'm going to go straight to the point. And I tell you, I'm in your inbox, Mary, because I want to discuss A, B, C, D. I want to talk about breastfeeding. I want to talk about, you see now I'm wearing this dress. This lady made this dress for me from Kenya. I want to talk about African print dresses, right? If I see your designer, you see this design of mine, put one straight hand. This one is, is like that. Before, it used to be both of them have to be the same. Now there's a new style. They don't have to be the same. Before you slide into my inbox, ask yourself. Or before you join my community, ask yourself. What is the, that one thing that you're interested, that you're going to learn from me? Don't just get on social media and waste so much of your time just talking. Thank you so much. If you're finding me for the first time, please share this video. If you're finding me for the first time, like my page. If you're finding me for the first time, invite your friends to move over to YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. To move over to YouTube to share those videos with other people. You never know who's going to change your life. I hope you listened. I hope you're going to learn one or two things by the time you're watching this video that is going to help you to improve your quality of life using social media platforms and the technology that has been made so easy. You see now we have two, three phones. We have laptops. We have tablets. We have all these gadgets. And yet, we are not able to connect. People who live in isolation never thrive. You can think that you are going to do okay by yourself, but human nature is not that way. We need each other. God bless you and have a beautiful Monday. Remember today is Monday. Set those goals and push them. Whatever goals that you have, write them down and push them. Don't be afraid of saying, oh, I might not, I might not. No. Get your, I told you, get your business cards, print your business cards and get into business. Today is Monday. By Friday, we need a reconciliation sheet to see how far we have done. Cheers and God bless you.